Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the orange look in my rainbow series and I've done something kind of like, I've done like a cut crease with like a sort of a moon shape. We've got some um, white liner going on, something a bit different for me and a nice bold ready orange lip and we've got sort of like an orangey toned highlighter on and I'm really enjoying this look, this is like super different for me, I never wear lip colours like this but I'm really enjoying it. So if you think you're going to like this video then please like it and if you're not ready please subscribe. So let's get into the video. Please excuse the like mark on my shirt, I think it's toothpaste, I don't even know. So I'm going to start off with the Spackle Hydrating Moisturising Under Makeup Primer. This is from Laura Gala. I've really been liking this recently. I bought it ages ago and it came in like a little set and then I never really used it. But I've used it a bit more in the past sort of um, week and a bit. And I've really been enjoying it. It's a really good one for um, dry skin. I'm also going to use a little bit of this Pure Correcting Primer. I'm just going to put that in like um, areas that I want to be a bit more glowy. Uh, if I seem like, I don't know, like I'm not that energetic is because I've already filmed this tutorial once <laughs> and it went wrong because I was in a rush and I forgot to take any thumbnail pictures and I like didn't even put any highlighter on so obviously I wasn't a good time so I'm redoing it but I think this one will be better anyway so it's all good apologies for the random change but it's warm in my room so I'm going to go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in the shade Fair Neutral I really love this foundation, it's so nice. I just wish there was like, I don't know, you really, one thing you need to do is you need to make sure to shake it up because if you don't then you feel like you're using a lot of product because because it's so like watery, I think it's like you have to mix up like the pigment and stuff in there, that usually helps. So give it a, a good old shake and I'm just going to pop this on the back of my hand. Okay, now I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 116 brush which is like a flat kabuki brush and I'm just going to apply that foundation. These are um, quite new brushes to me. I really, really like them. The eye ones are just amazing. Okay, now I'm going to get in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, also in Fair Neutral. And I'm going to use um, Max Soft Ochre today so I'm not going to put loads of this on my eyelids I'm going to put a tiny bit just to correct any redness but I am going to be using a proper eye primer today so you don't have to worry about putting loads on and I'm just going to blend that out with the same brush I'm just going to quickly go in and powder with the Laura Geller um, Bright and Balance powder foundation the one that I always use which like I managed to drop and get like a huge dent out of like an idiot. I'm looking ghosty today, right? <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm getting paler. It's literally so sunny outside. And I think I'm just getting paler. Because I look like a ghost. Whatever. I'm going to do a little bit of contour with the collection contour stick. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques contour brush. I don't know what it is, and if I get on camera, I cannot, like, get my nose contour line straight, like, don't ask me what this is, because I don't know, like, whenever I get on camera, I just lose the ability to nose contour, like, I'm not, like, the best at it anyway, but I just, I just completely fail at it when I try and film myself doing it. I'm just going to quickly like re-blend that on my foundation brush. This doesn't really have any extra product on it. I'm just sort of blending out that nose contour so it looks a little bit less like I've just got dirt on my face. Okay, now I'm going to pop on some... Whoa, my God, I almost dropped it. I'm going to pop on some MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just on the um, eyelid area. You don't really want to put this like... Well, you could, I suppose, if you wanted to. I wouldn't put this like over my hot eye because this can be quite a drying product. Maybe if you've got oily skin, it might be alright, but I don't want to dry out my eyelids too much. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35O palette. Obviously, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna start off with um, this like peachy brown color just there. 
I'm going to take this one of your Real Techniques base shadow brush, tap it off, and just really lightly blend that into the crease to start with. I've just switched over to a BH120 brush and I'm like just applying a little bit more and sort of um, blending it as I go. What is this piece of hair doing? Now on this BH121 brush I'm going to go into this sort of like rusty orange colour and I'm just going to pop that in. And this brush has got a sort of angle to it so it's good for getting on the um, outer corner. So I'm just going to start applying that on the outer corner and slightly into the crease. And I'm just blending with my Spectrum Series 06 brush as normal. I did get some new um, brushes from Morphe, but I want to put them in a haul first before I use them. I might save them for like a first impressions. I'm not too sure yet. Okay, now I'm going to take this light colour here and mix it with this one. And I'm going to just highlight the brow bone with that. This is on a, spectr a Spectrum <laughs> BH Cosmetics 118 brush. Okay, I'm just adding a tiny bit more of that orange colour back in because sometimes when you blend, I notice when you blend Morphe shadows, sometimes the colours can sort of um, fade together a little bit. So you just got to sort of blend and rework them. So I'm just going to blend what I've just done, but try and keep the sort of intensity of the colour. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. You actually sometimes see more concealer for a cut crease than you think you do, so I'm just going to take about this bit for now, but I might need a little bit more after. So, yeah, you want to keep this area blank. And I'm going to start off with this um, Real Techniques Accent Brush. This is what I use for my cut crease. When I do it, it's just the easiest brush I've found to use. I'm just going to coat the brush on both sides of that and go in and I'm going to create a sort of cut crease shape and I'm going to focus it just on the lid for now. Okay, so once you've applied the concealer in a sort of semicircle shape I'm just going to really gently blend that top line and also the inner corner that can get a little bit like smudgy so I just kind of like to blend over to make a sort of like a gradient sort of look and um, yeah you don't need to use any extra colour I'm just going back in with the brush that I was using before okay so I'm just going to go in with Shroom from MAC and I'm just going to gently pat this on the um, area where we did the cut crease and I'm going to go back in with a brush to fill in the very edge. I'm also going to add this into the inner corner and just like pat it and blend it. Okay, so I'm just going to um, blend a little bit on the top bit with that angle brush and then just go back in and clean it up. Okay, I'm just going to do a cat eye liner, winged liner, with my Zweeva cat eye pen. Okay, now I'm going to take the NYX Vera Brights liner. This is the orange one. And I wanted to do, I was going to be a bit more ambitious with this. But, like, look at the wand. And it's, like, brand new. I don't understand. Why is it so, like... I've cut, I basically cut loads off, so it doesn't look as bad as it was. But I had to cut loads of these little stringy things off because you can't make a good line when it's all sticking out. But what I'm going to try and do is do a graphic sort of, um, well, I'm going to follow the wing liner just underneath with this one. 
Okay, I apologise if my liner looks a little bit weird, but I tried to get in with this NYX Vivid Brights liner and sort of do um, like an underneath line, and then it got a bit messy. I tried to go over it. This is so dry, and like the brush is like I've already cut loads off of this brush, but this brush is so messy and it's just like not good. Like look at that. Like how are you supposed to even do a normal line with that? It's so, so, so dry. Like, I tried to go back over it. I've had to go over, like, this bit of my eyeshadow here. Because I had to take off my liner. I'm not impressed with this. And it's that's because I've already bought another one in yellow for my yellow tutorial. Let's just hope that one's better, but I'm not a fan of this. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in white and pop this on my waterline. Now I know this looks a bit like creepy but I wanted to do something a bit more avant-garde anyway so I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to pop on my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara because this looks a little bit uneven because some of it got on my eyelashes. That eyeliner is actually really damn good though and I might get that in the black because it's really good. Okay, so there is mascara done. I almost feel like this is like kind of like a 60s model look, but with like colour. I'm quite enjoying it. So I've made my lashes um, really big and yeah, I've just tried to make them really stand out. And I'm going to go in with highlight next. I'm going to go in with Lyra from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. I almost said Moonchild there, but it's not. It is the Aurora. I'm going to actually mix in a tiny bit of Luna and Eclipse just to lighten it a little bit, but mostly using Lyra. Now I'm going to go in with the LA Splash Lip Couture in the shade Till Midnight, which is kind of like a ready sort of orange tone. Okay, so we are done. There's the lips done. And I'm really proud of myself for getting through this makeup tutorial because it's absolutely boiling hot. And I managed to wipe off half my eyebrow. And if you caught that one, then give me a like. <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. So obviously this is the orange part of my rainbow series. And next will be yellow. And I really pray that my yellow NYX Vivid Brights liner works because I wanted to do something with that. But uh, we'll have to see when we get into it. So if you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you've got any requests, then let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.